are scientists and we haven't in, been investigating worms. All our experiments, we've been doing worms. So like how many worms were in the garden? And that is what we're going to show you today. This is the, this is the back garden of our experiment. We did our experiment through the other garden and um, we tried to find out how many worms are in the garden. Now, I have a book that I've written down and I will tell you at the end. First, let's meet the worms. Billy, go and get them. Okay, I will. So, come over here to the worms. This, we've got two big ones and two small ones. Now, Billy, tell us about the worms. Over to you. Well, there's like two big ones here and one's big, one's really fat. Uh, well, but this one poos a lot. <laughs> it's poos very interesting. You can see what it eats and it's kind of like mushed up soil. So it's not exactly what we eat. Uh, and this thin one here, I, I've hardly saw his poo at all. He like never knows. Uh, right, and, this one's all, and that one's also very right gooey. I'm going to tell you about these little ones. This one's the littlest. This one's kind of medium. And these two, can I, can I, they poo a little bit. And I have saw them poo a tiny bit. But I need to poo a bit, a tiny bit. And I'm yet to go back on to experiment. Okay. So, back to the experiment. What was the experiment, Ella? Um, we, well, our aim, would you call it, is to find out how many worms are in the front lawn. Now, that was hard to find out. We had to do a lot of maths and quite a few sub um, addition sums. So, I've got a book here that I'm going to tell you about. I'll read it all um, in here and Billy will and you can look at the worms while I'm reading. Worm experiment. A. Find out how many worms are in the front lawn. Hypothesis. If we find out how many worms are in a small part of the lawn, we can work out how many worms are in the whole lawn. Now, that we had to do a lot of working out and as you say, addition terms. So those are the worms that we found. There's, to tell you, there's four worms. We can't dig up the whole lawn. So we used worm irritant, which will make them pop up so we can, um, so we can count them. Now, it doesn't hurt the worms, it just kind of like make them irritated and then they pop up to get some air. But so it didn't make them irritated for the rest of their lives, we put them in cold water. Method. We measured the length and width of the lawn to calculate the, the total area. We chose a test area, one foot by one foot. We poured worm irritant, the worm on, on the worms and they popped up. Results. The lawn was the lawn was ten foot by twelve foot. That equals um, one hundred and twenty square foot. The test area was one foot by one foot. That equals one square foot. Four worms emerged from from the test area. Therefore, we estimate that, that there is. 480 worms under the lawn. Working. So what we what did? What is moving now? We did oh, 10 oh, times oh, 10 oh. times 12 is 120, and Look, there is four moving. worms. So we so we times the four worms by our answer from 10 times 12, which would be 100, 120 times four equals 480. So we estimate our answer is correct. So, now, the last bit. Conclusion. 
We estimate that there is 480 worms under the lawn. 480 worms under the lawn, really? Yes, and that's, well, we estimate that. It might not be correct, but... We Sounds think, like a very scientific estimate, though. Well, we think it's going to be that, but we don't know until we dig up the whole lawn. Well, we can't dig up the whole lawn, can we? No. So you've got pretty close to the truth, I think, there, by your uh, your test area, having produced four yeah. worms, extrapolating that. Okay. Oh, Billy. Those worms are really disgusting. And so who's done what in this experiment? Well, I've done the mass. Yeah. And the working out. Billy's done the getting out the worms. Billy was in charge of the worms and, and also, worm care. And also he looked after them, fed them. And so those, so they, re, they now think he's like there. Look through there. Dad, you can see the bottom of the worm. What have you got here? There's a worm. You let, can, me, let me see then. You can see the worm. Whoa. Look. You can see the webby bottom if you look. You can. There. Let me see again then. If you look. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. See the magnifying look, glass. In, it's only if you look through there you can yeah. see it. Yeah. Now, I'm going to get one out. Right. Get the fat one. Now, were any worms harmed in the in this scientific experiment? No. You've been looking after the worms Except properly, have you? Except for the yep. fat one getting squeezed. <laughs> you didn't squeeze the fat one, did you? What did you squeeze the fat one Not for? Not me. No? I didn't squeeze it. Okay. This is one of the worms. It just got squashed a bit when, I, when I put this. Okay. Yeah. Right, I think we might need to draw it to a conclusion now. So, in conclusion, how many worms? 480. 480, that's your estimate. And you've done that by... Mine's, mine's 100. So we did 10 <laughs> times 12, because the width was 10 foot and um, the length was 12 foot. Yeah. So we did that. And, and that, that gave you the area. Yeah, and that was 120. 120 so, square foot, okay. And there was four worms. Yeah. So we tried the 120 times four. Where were the four worms? In, in, underneath the lawn. In the test area? Which was one foot by one foot, which is one square foot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Um, so we had our answer of 120 of yeah. 10 times 12. Yeah. And then we found four worms under the lawn. So then we times that by our answer 120. So four times 120 is 480. So we, so we estimate that that is the answer. Excellent. Thank you very much. Good science work. Gold stars all round. Congratulations. Nobel prizes to you both. Willie, Billy, may I shake your hand? Oh, worm hands. Right. Thank you. Thank you and good night. Congratulations. Good night. Good night. God bless.